hang on to their playoff spot. In the third division, a one-all draw at Hart. Babes killed in the Munich. Action-packed part two as we join the black and white army on their way to Wembley. And undercover, well, it just must be the start of the cricket season. Welcome back to Calendar this Friday evening and uh, Don Riddell will be here very shortly to look ahead to this weekend's sporting action. But first, there are just two days to go now before Grimsby Town step out onto the hallowed turf at Wembley for the first time in their long history. The mighty Mariners will face Bournemouth in the auto windscreen shield final in front of, well, around about 60,000 people. Well, 30,000 of them will probably be wearing the black and white colours of Grimsby and, as Fraser Maud reports, some of them will have travelled from all corners of the world to be there. Mariners fans from all over the globe have been sending their support for the team via the internet, but Sunday's game will also be for the people who can't be there for other reasons. My father took me to Blundell Park for the first time in 1949 when I was seven, and uh, he always said that if ever Grimsby get to Wembley, I'll take you. But unfortunately, he died in 56. So, me going on Sunday is as much for him as it is for me. And I shall cherish that moment. Two young lads who will also be cherishing the day are the Mariners' eight year old mascots, Jason Dury and Andrew Dring. They'll make the trip from Lincolnshire. But one man's had a slightly longer trip from Australia. It's the longest distance I've ever travelled for a Grimsby away match. But it, it's been worth it because this is the highlight of Grimsby Town rather than just the Grimsby Town Football Club. This is probably the highlight of Grimsby Town's history, as particularly in my lifetime. But of course, most of the support will come from the town itself. I think Grimsby's going to win 2-0. Uh, I think they'll win. I think they'll pick themselves up. They've had a few bad results, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I think town will play them off the pitch, Michelle, because they're a football team. I think we're going to win because there's so much that everyone behind the club, normally there's normally four or five thousand there on a Saturday and a Tuesday night and there's going to be 28,000 there on Sunday. Grinsby will have to win. How many by? 7-0. Brian Ward's had to wait over 50 years to see his side make it to the Twin Towers, something he'll be sharing with, well, his whole family. It's a family occasion as well because I've got all my family coming, with two sons, two sons going, two son-in-laws going, two daughters going. Uh, four grandchildren going and a couple of friends going all in one big family so we're looking forward to it without any trouble at all. We have to calm my dad and granddad down sometimes to get a bit overexcited. We have to watch out in case the police come round and want to take him out of the ground. <laughs> With backing from all over the world and from Brian's Barmy Army, when Sunday comes, the Mariners certainly won't be short of support. Hey! Well, our Fraser Moore will be joining the Black and White Army on their way to Wembley, and you could be too, because it's time now to reveal the winner of our competition to win these two tickets for two of the very best seats in that house for Sunday's big game at Wembley. Now, the answer to the question, what is Grimsby Town's nickname, was, of course, the Mariners. I think even I knew that. And the winner is Richard Critton, who is 18, and he is, surprise, surprise, from Grimsby. Anyway, congratulations to you, Richard, and hope that you have a great day out, and it's crowned, of course, when Grimsby win. Well, I'll look ahead to the rest of the weekend's sporting action in a minute, but first more from Calendar East with Emma. An 11-year-old boy who's... Apple. Now, it's freezing cold. You... ...today at Headingley. Let's have a, uh, a look at the close of play scores, shall we? Headingley today. Glad to see you've uh, got your... ...against Derbyshire. Nottinghamshire skittled out for 118. Big exodus this weekend from Grimsby to London. History will be made on Sunday as the second division club but play at Wembley for the first time. As Derm Tanner reports, success is having a big effect on the East Coast. They're switching over day by day. Not even the pull of Liverpool can match what's going on at Grimsby. With just two days to go to the final, business in the club shop has been as brisk as ever. For the first time ever, mention of Wembley on Mariners merchandise. Such has been the success of the team this season, in league and in all cup competitions, 30,000 fans will be making for London on Sunday. I followed them, what, for 40 years, up and on. I've been a fisherman like, but, you know, great thing to get there. Well, it's a good thing to see Grimsby at Wembley. It's nice to know that they can make it and we've got a few fans going there. Well, I think they've done very well up to now. I mean, they haven't been done very well in the past, but I'm really pleased. The players passed the week with a spot of aqua golf. Mark Lever's testimonial event nearly washed out, though. The Augusta Masters, it wasn't. 
Well, Mark, this is some preparation for a Wembley final, isn't it? Oh, miserable, isn't it? It's typical, isn't it? Uh, middle of April and it's uh, sailing down, but uh, it's not cold anyway, so we'll have a good, uh, good round of golf and have a couple of beers and then get ready for Sunday. As the water hazards grew by the minute, enter manager Alan Buckley, more Gene Kelly than Arnold Palmer. <laughs> Not the slightest bit interested, never have been, never will be. It's a bit hypocritical to sit, sit here in a golf club doing an interview. I'm not the slightest bit interested, but it's a day out for the players. What does get Buckley going is Grimsby itself. That's why he's back for a second helping. In the previous tenure in charge, we had two successive promotions and we were well established in the first division. But I think this season's just exceeded all expectation. It's arguably the best in the history. Wembley awaits the players this Sunday lunchtime if they ever dry out. Durham Tanner, look north, Grimsby. Thanks, Durham.